Hey everybody, welcome to Learn Billiards. I'm Manny Oatman, your PBI instructor. This is one of the best breaks in April. We're going to teach you how to make multiple balls on the break and move that eight ball. Most people take their break from somewhere up here within a few inches from the point. Nothing wrong with that. Now this break takes some practice, but if you execute it right, you'll sink multiple balls and possibly get that eight ball to travel over in the side pocket. So remember, I want to come in directly and hit this three ball, which is my second ball in the rack want to hit that 100% without touching any other ball. So again, remember, you got to practice this break because if I hit any further down the line or if I don't hit properly, more than likely my cue ball is going to scratch in that corner pocket. So again, I want to hit that three ball 100%. You can see I made two balls on that break. Number two, set myself up, I'm gonna chalk up. Remember, I'm using the ultimate turtle rack. You want that really tight rack to compress all the ball so every ball in the rack is touching. And it's so easy to use. So I think, honestly, it's the best rack out there right now. I used to use the Magic 8 ball rack, but I, I would say definitely this rack is better. It's faster to rack the balls. Um, there's not much more to say about it. You can play nine ball, 10 ball. I'll leave a description below and a link so you guys can check it out. So again, shot number two. Want to go ahead and hit that second ball in the rack. You can see I made two balls in the side pocket. The eight balls all the way out in the middle of the table. My balls are plenty spread out. So let me show you. Here's um, the rack I was talking about. It's called the Ultimate Turtle Rack. It's so easy to use. You guys will love it. All right, so here's a close-up of the Ultimate Turtle Rack. You can see I have it positioned on the table. You just go ahead and there's little um, like notches and the balls just lay right in there. I mean, look how easy that is. And as you start going, everything basically, it's like a puzzle. It interlocks, it's so simple to use. I mean, there you go. Every one of those balls is touching. And now see you continue your rack. So I'm not setting it up for eight ball. Obviously the eight ball is not in the middle. I'm just trying to show you how easy that is. You know, obviously if we were playing 10 ball, there's your 10 ball rack, but if I had the 10 ball in the center. So I'm just using that as an example to show you how easy that was for me to rack that and every one of these balls are touching. 